Hey everyone, it's your friend James, and today we're taking a look at something very different to what we usually cover on the channel. This is the ISDT ESC70, a brushed ESC with Bluetooth connectivity. This is the first ESC from ISDT, a company known for its chargers and battery related products. So let's take a look at what comes in the box. The box is quite plain. It has the line drawing of the ESC70 along with its button on the front and a few logos and a QR code in the back that leads you to the ISDT website. Inside, we find a bilingual manual in both English and Chinese. It's pretty comprehensive. It covers everything you need to know about the functionality of the app along with the ESC itself. Instead of using a programming card as with most other competitors, this ESC connects to your phone via Bluetooth. So changes to any parameters could be made on the fly if you have your phone with you and you don't need to bring a programming card or do any disassembly of your vehicle. Underneath the manual, we see the 70 amp ESC itself along with its on off button. They are well protected in a styrofoam casing, so uh, they don't get damaged in the shipping process. Included is a bag of color-coded heat shrink along with a receiver cable. Next, we have the ESC itself, which is very compact and has a metal casing, which will help with the heat dissipation. Unfortunately, no plugs were given with the unit, so make sure you have your battery connector ready. Underneath, we have the ISDT logo, along with some parameters that are etched into the casing itself. Unfortunately, there was a ding on the casing of my unit, which doesn't look great and shouldn't have passed QC. Next, we have the multifunctional button, which switches the ESC on or off, or switches between the on off and Bluetooth modes. And that's what comes with the ESC70. You have the ESC itself, the button, the manual, and the heat shrink, along with the receiver cable. Since no connectors were included with the ISDC 70 amp ESC, I soldered on an XT60 connector and directly soldered the motor leads to my motor. To connect your ESC to your phone, you have to download the ISD Go app, which is available on the App Store and the Play Store. Press the plus button on the top right hand corner, power on your ESC, and press and hold the ESC's multifunctional button until the light turns from green to blue. Press ESC70 on your screen plus device and it should show up. There we go. The ESC has now been connected to your phone. Sometimes it asks you to update the firmware on the ESC. Just press OK and let it run through. With the Bluetooth connected, let's open ISD Go and select ESC70. So this interface will tell you what your ESC is seeing in terms of throttle point, your battery's capacity and voltage, and the temperature of the ESC itself. Let's open the settings page of the app by pressing the little cog on the top right hand corner. Now we're in the main interface of the app. Let's go to the mode selection part first. ISDT has given you a number of presets, including on-road, drift, off-road, rock crawler, and custom. And we're using custom today because we are making a lot of changes to the parameters. Next, let's look at the primary page. Here we can change the running mode of the ESC. So depending on what kind of model you have, you can select between forward with brake, forward and reverse with brake, or just forward and reverse. You can choose between the type of battery you have, including high voltage, nickel metal hydride, NICADs, or LiPos. We're using three cells today. I'm setting my cutoff voltage as 10.5 volts. 
The BEC goes from 5 to 7.5 volts, but because my servos take 6 volts maximum, we're going to set the BEC as 6 volts and choose the rotation of the motor as well. And if we scroll down to advanced, you can see the PWM frequency, you can see the starting and braking force. Um, and then active drag brake, that's really cool. It's kind of like auto hold on modern vehicles. You have to set it between disabled and 20. So I've set it at six because of the weight of the vehicle, but this takes a lot of experimenting to do, which I'll show you later. And set the active brakes as well. And then in other, you can select the name of your uh, ESC of your vehicle. You can set the throttle curve. They give you a few presets here as well to get you started. And depending on your driving style or the model you have, we can change the brake curve as well. You can change the start music, which I've not figured out how to do yet, but I'll look into that. And information regarding the hardware and software of the ESC can also be found at the bottom of the app. To put the ESC70 to the test, I've enlisted my 112th scale Cross RC GC4, which is modeled after the Soviet Gaz 66. The heavy weight of the truck should stress the ESC more than normal crawlers over the long run. Previously, this truck ran on a Hobbywing 1080, which was fine, but all parameter changes required quite a bit of disassembly and a programming card. So having the ESC70's Bluetooth connectivity will definitely make life easier. Setting up the ESC to the gas took all of about 8 minutes, with most of the time spent on calibrating the active drag brake. As most brushed motors don't have a feedback loop to the ESC like censored brushless motors do, you need to play with the numbers until the truck holds its position on an incline without jittering or slipping. After a bit of trial and error, 6 seems to be the best setting for the gas. The truck has minimal jitters while being able to hold its position on the hill when no throttle is given. This setting will vary depending on vehicle weight and gearing, so there is no one-size-fit-all number, unfortunately. A bit more time was spent adjusting the throttle curve, so the truck has smooth throttle response without being too punchy. The ISDT ESC70 slots in between the price and performance of the industry standard Hobbywing 1060 and 1080 ESCs. The Bluetooth connectivity is a huge selling point for guys who have scalers and crawlers with roll cages, not having to disassemble their trucks just to adjust a few settings. The $25 price tag and extra features are just icing on the proverbial cake. More testing is needed to tell if the ESC-70 lives up to the punishment crawlers go through. But other than that, I would highly recommend the product. If you've made it so far, thank you for watching this review. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.